Hi, this is Justice with LearnBuildBox.com. Today we're going to be learning melee strikes and triple shots. All right, so I did a couple little animations. Uh, none of this is perfect or the way that I would really do it, but I, I always think that you guys are probably far more concerned with learning how to do it than seeing me execute it perfectly, so we'll get into it. All right, I'll show you what it is that I'm attempting to do. Let's try that again. I'm using this uh, pointer trail. You guys will have to tell me if you like that better or worse. I think it kind of is helpful. So we'll see here. All right, so there's my single bullet, and there's my triple shot. All right, and then I have another feature here. Uh, this is my melee strike, which is uh, really just a, kind of a funny kick. All right, so let's go into how those things were done. Um, here in the character, where you'd expect to find these different things, they are not here. These are all part of power-ups. Uh, so we're going to go into actions, and I'll show you. Um, I have this under the bone spike uh, <laughs> for no, no good reason whatsoever. Uh, this default image or default animation actually does absolutely nothing, so it really doesn't matter. I just grab something that I had there. I set the action type to strike. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really all too important or not, but I think it's probably the most applicable. All right, so if you click on action animation, I, I brought in this animation that I made in After Effects where he flicks his tail up, and I dropped in three objects from over here while this window's up. If you guys try and do this, if you try and click on one of these, this window will go away, and you'll have to go back to your power-up and then go back over here to action animation click on this little editing uh, icon all right so i i came over here and i went up to my objects i grabbed something and i i have leaves and i used leaves as a weapon which is obviously probably not what i'll do in the end but uh, if you grab it and drag it over it will let you drop it right on the animation editor screen Alright, so those settings that I have here, I have character bullet, um, I have physics, no collide, uh, linear velocity, I have set to 20, which is the default. Uh, I have sleep distance 230 because I wanted it to turn off at some point, but honestly, I don't think that really does too much. Spawner has to be on. Now, one of the, the more important things that I think makes this difficult one of the more important things to remember is that over here I have this as the button again not important you can do whatever you want here um, this has to be selected back to uh, the original power-up the original action um, back in the game editor all right then very important while you're testing at very least you need to set this to unlimited use and I have a keyboard key to help get this to work the way I want it to um, let's see, over here, I have the power-up, uh, let's see, I have a couple settings here that I think are important to point out. Uh, I have this set to character for animation placement, animation behavior, replace, animation repeat, single play. Obviously, you can put in sounds. Duration, this is important, because when I have this set at 1, um, the leaves slash bullets shoot out twice. Uh, their spawn rate, for some reason, throws out 2 during that time. I'm not entirely sure how that's supposed to work, but that seems to be what happens. When I change the duration to 0 0.5 or to shorter, uh, then it does what I'm wanting it to do, which is a single 
shot or three single shots at the same time. All right, so I think that explains that. So now let's go into the melee strike or our kick action. Okay, this is set up almost identically uh, over here in the game field. I just dropped in one of the PNG graphics or PNG images that I used in the animation. Again, made in After Effects. And uh, that is set to unlimited use as well. I have a different keyboard key. Uh, the image, this is already in there. Uh, when you're dragging an image into here, you have to do this from the Explorer window. So File Explorer, drag and drop your image onto here. Put it in Action button. And let's see. I don't know what I think about this trail. So we did a very similar thing. I set it up to strike, uh, action animation. This is the full animation, the kick. Uh, now also here I have the scale at one. Uh, I actually do need to bring this up probably to 1.3 to 1 1.3 or 1.5 to get it to actually mimic the size of my other my character animation. These can be different. Again, this is set to character. Replace, single play, duration I have at 0.3. Um, and inside of here, let's see, let's send this to the back. Okay, this is all that I have. I just have this as a strike and it seems to work just fine. Uh, if you wanted to add an object in there as a character bullet you could do the same thing and it would be you could make that character bullet invisible and that would give you the ability to you know extend your melee strike range uh, you could increase also if you if you bring in an object here like the uh, leaf bullet that I used before uh, collision shape, I made the collision shape extra large just because I wanted to have a little bit more damage done, uh, less fickle operation. So if you guys um, know of any other ways to hack this or make this work better, please comment below. Um, also, uh, please, please tell me any different tutorials that you guys are looking for. I have a list of probably about 10 or 15 requests right now. Some of which I can do, some I cannot. But I'm always looking for easy options for things that I, I might know how to do that the community may not know or a couple people in the community may not know how to do. Alright, well that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.